Hey, welcome again to Tombow Racing. Today we're going to be talking about the green these cams on this old motorcycle right here, this Hayabusa right here. And I got a friend of mine, one of my homegirls right here. I'm going to be teaching her a couple things while I teach you guys a few things out there. I'm going to show you how simple it is. I got my homegirl Brandy with me. What's hey, up? Tom, what's up? What's up? You know, I'm going to be teaching her how to ride a bike and teaching her how to degree some cams. So sit back, grab your popcorn, and check us out. What's this right here? It looks like a wire hanger. But well, this is not a wire hanger or a clothes hanger. This right here, to most people, would be a welding rod or a clothes hanger. But what I use it for is a pointer to go to my motor to help me degree the cams. Because you can't find, you can't buy all of these parts. So when you're starting to degree the cams, so you can't buy all this stuff. So this is something that we make here. So that's what that is. That's a pointer. Okay. Now what's next? Pass me that thing that looks like a clock right there. This looks like a turkey, a turkey thermometer. A turkey thermometer, no, this is a dial indicator. This right here is, helps me measure the lift on the cam and helps me measure when it moves or any, any movement that might happen. That's what this is. So that's what this is right there? That's what it is. Huh? Okay, well, what's this? This is, right, this is what you call a degree wheel right here. I mount this on the end of the crankshaft right here, so that way I can know exactly where the cam is, where it's moving to, where the crank's at, and the piston's at in relationship to the cam. It's a degree wheel. Hmm. That's what it is. You get those things right there from webcam in California. From webcam? Webcam. Oh, okay. Yep, that's what that is. You got to know all this kind of stuff. My homegirl, you listen to me, I'm going to make you sharp and a big dog. Sounds like a plan. Let's work. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Okay. Scene three, take one. All right, Tom. So what's next? Hey, hang on, hang on. Mm. So wait, wait, wait till I point. I'll, I'll do this. That's when we start. Okay. Ready? Okay. So what's next, Tom? Well, next we're going to start the green our cam, start getting it together. Pass me a three-quarter wrench right there. There you go. Cool, Brian. Glad to see Let's see that you know tools. You well, know, I try, I try. You know. Just look, just look. Yeah, okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is take our wrench and put on a degree wheel, and we want to find the, the highest part of the nose of our cam. So What's the nose of the cam? The nose of the cam is this piece right here. This is the tallest part of the, of the cam right here that hits this, this, mm. this bucket right here. Okay. All right, so what we want to do first we want to turn this thing to 20 thousandths, move the cam to 20 thousandths off of the seat of the nose. And now we're going to turn, come back, and we're going to stop right here at 10 thousandths. When we stop at 10 thousandths, we're going to take a reading and we'll see exactly where we're at. Get that calculator for me right there, Brent. If you so kindly punch in uh, 86.5. 86.5. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to take and turn the cam back down to zero mm -hmm. on the nose. Turn the nose back down to zero and it starts to move again. So we're going to take a measurement 10 thousandths off of the seat again. And it's going to, and this time it's uh, 125. Okay. Divide that by two. 105.75. We just found the center line of our cam. We just found the center line of our cam right now. And so the next thing that we want to do, webcam gave us these cams right here. And here at Tombow Racing and webcam recommends that we have them set at, say, 108, 108 to 110. So, Brandy, pass me a... A uh, 10 millimeter wrench there, please. There you go. I'll trade you. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Just no talking. Just everybody freeze. Okay, go. Okay. So now what I'm I'm doing now, Brandon, is I'm adjusting the cam. I'm going to loosen up. Loosen up this bolt right here on the cam. You pass me that three-quarter, that wrench again. 
I need this one too now. Okay. Uh, now I'm gonna go back over. Now I'm gonna go back over here and adjust this one here. Start with them. Start back where you adjust the cam again. <clears throat> Put that back over. Okay, hang on, we're ready. Okay, now I'm adjusting the cam right here. I'm loosening up this bolt right here on my cam and my cam sprocket right there. It passed me a three quarter wrench again, Brad. Are you still using this? Yes, I'm still using it. I still need that right there. Okay. So now that I loosen this up, now I can move it. I can move this right here, my degree wheel, just a hair, just to, to bump it, just to get it to where I need it to be. Move my degree wheel here and then here. And I know I ain't moving because I'm looking right here. And now I need that 10 millimeter right here. Hold that there. Okay. Now I moved it just a hair. That's how critical these things is to move. And let's see how far we move. move. I got it. Thank you. You're welcome. So now we come back over here. Go back to zero. Go back to 10. And we take a reading. Calculate again. Calculate it again. Okay. Now we'll put in a 87. 87. Plus. Plus. Plus one, 120, 128.5. Okay. Divide by two. 107.75. 107.75. That's close right there. We just want to get just a spidget more because we the number that we're looking for is 108. Plus, pass me a 10 millimeter wrench again. That just goes to show you that these things move in spidgets. Just that little bit right there. What's a smidget? It's just a little bit, just a hair. Just, that was just a... That was just a hair. So now we uh, moved it. I'm going to find the exact spot we needed at. Try to tighten it. Hold it right there because I'm going to need it right there. Okay. Now here we go to check it again. You need your, cal you need your calculator. Now we the first number we're gonna put in there is a ninety. Ninety plus 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 one thirty two. One thirty two. Divide by two. One eleven. One eleven. We want to get one ten, so we're gonna go back down just a little bit more. Pass me that ten right there that you got in your hand. No, I, I need that. Let's hold on. Hold that one, dear. Okay. Calculator. Let's see, ten. You keep holding on to my tools. Hey. That's my job. All right, here you go. Thank you. Okay, now we at uh, 88.5 again. Mm -hmm. 
plus one thirty. Divided by two? Divided by two. One oh nine point twenty five. You can't get no closer than that. That's what we want right there. Because the numbers that we were trying to get is 108 to 110. That's where these cams work the best at, and that's where we want to be at. We've just showed you how to degree your cams in. The way that I just done is the simplest way. I learned it from a guy named Paul Gass at the racetrack one day. Paul Gass showed me this right here at the track. Uh, webcam, I've been doing advanced and high and webcam way for years. Paul showed me how to do this. And at the track, he said he was changing his cams, and he said it would only take him about 15 minutes to change the settings on his cam. I said, no way. And I watched him do this, and I checked it with the way that a Laurier webcam showed me, the way Byron at Vance and Hines showed me. And this is a quicker, smoother way to do it, just doing it off the heel, the nose of the cam. Hey, over here at Tombow Land, this is what we do. We play close attention to the detail. What you said, Brian? All right.